behalf of the Green family, Kristen, Mike, Barbara, the Kaufman family, Tina, son Trent, where are you Trent? And grandkids, Zane and every. We're honored to be here to show you this picture. Mitch and Paul, Don Serpent. There's a lot of people we need to thank this and we need to see this give you a little history on why it's here, how it's got here. Kristen, T and I had always wanted to do a page someplace, sort of a, you know, a, a thank you to the community, all the things that you did for us during really tough times. But we never had a, you know, inspiration of a fence that really sort of appealed to us. Until one day we were in Santa Cruz with Kristen, recovering from knee surgery. And so we went to UC Arboretum and set a long hawk walk, it was a little short little walk. And she got tired, so I gotta sit down. I gotta find a bench. So we looked up and here's this bench up this hill. It was colorful, it was creative, it was unique. And we said, this appeals to us. How do we do something like this? So at that time, said, we don't know who made this bench. No one knew. So Tina started pursuing, how do we find that artist? And I'm going to present this to Tina to tell her story. Hi. Uh, we're really happy to be here. And if there are just a few people, I'm going to be introducing a very important person here in just a moment. But once we saw this bench, the journey of trying to find an artist whose name we could not find on the bench, and as it turned out, the bench had been dedicated to the Arboretum 10 years prior to us finding it, became quite a challenge. But after about six weeks of uh, asking different people in the Santa Cruz community, if anybody knew who this artist was, someone gave us a lead. So I reached out to this artist, not even knowing if it was the right person. That was. 14 months and four days ago. Mm -hmm. She responded to my email, and at this time I'd like to introduce the artist. <laughs> this is Susanna Arias. She has been a working artist in the Santa Cruz community for a long time. And when we reached out to her to do something in Sitka, Alaska, on Baranoff Island, I'm sure this took a little contemplation. It's like, well, how do we get it there? Uh, how do we build it there? And so the journey began. And once we met Susanna at her studio, we brought some sketches that we found in some of Ryan's sketchbooks. Susanna immediately gleaned onto one of these, and one of his wave sketches became the inspiration for the pattern that you'll see it with the great unveiling. But this whole thing came together, as you can imagine, because of Ryan's love of living in this community and the love that was returned back to him. And once we found the artist, we knew the potential that she might say yes. Um, Kristen had a very clear idea that there's only one place this bench could possibly be, and that's at Sandy Beach. When you see the bench, I think you'll understand why. Except where the forest meets the sea. The reason we're all gathered here is because it's such a place of inspiration, meditation, contemplation. And it's where Ryan and Kristen surfed. Many of you other surfers out there have surfed. And it just seemed like this was the rightful place for a bench to be. So with Susanna's idea of waving, uh, weaving the wave patterns into the bench, the bench became become a reality. So I'm going to let Susanna share a little bit about maybe what she considered some of the challenges of working with this family. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> is that okay? Oh, yeah. All right, Susanna. Um, <laughs> so all of you know, am I too loud? No. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, okay. Speak up. Um, but all of you know the Kaufmans and the Greens and they are just beautiful people. So I was blessed that they came into my life. 
and they came into my life with a project that was very personal to them. Uh, so it took us over a year to actually finish it because we needed to make it perfect. We needed to make it contemplative, we needed to make it reflective, and we needed to make it not too loud or powerful, just something that would give to you a place to sit and be at peace with nature and life. So um, we went through a million glazes and tests and um, at some point we decided to put uh, write poetry that would mean something to them and to Ryan. So even if somebody comes here who is not uh, a relative or new Ryan, they will read the poetry and be inspired and be one with nature and life. So that's what we came up with. And we hope you love it and live with it. And I just thank them for giving me this gift. I'm left with offering a lot of thank yous and gratitude. And I want to say that in the last few days being here in Sitka, to be approached by so many people here and that have told me, we'll see you tomorrow, we can't, we're looking forward to the bench, it's, it's welcome back, welcome home. Uh, it means a great deal to our families to realize that it's been, it's almost been today, three and a half years since Ryan passed away, but to have so much um, outpouring of, of love and and people sharing how special he was to them personally, to the community. It really, it really means a lot to all of us. So, and thank you for all for being here today. Um, I'll also reiterate thank you to Susanna and all of the beautiful artwork she did, to Ryan's parents and to my parents for helping to make the bench be possible. Ricky Jarville is standing sort of in the back there, but. He, at this sort of almost simultaneous time, had also an idea for doing a bench, and he connect, got connected over it. And he's been, he's sort of like, has been a huge part in figuring out where the bench should be placed and doing all this site work with um, Troy Bain to help make it happen here, figuring out, we, we all met here together at the site, and I kind of had some ideas of where it should go, and Ricky's like, well, I have an idea, and it should go here, and that's by these Bruce trees behind us, and I was like, that's the, per that's the right spot. Um, and so, and Troy Baines donated his time to get the bench. This is an 800-pound bench to get it here. So thank you to all those people. Thank you to the uh, U.S. Forest Service for making this such an easy place to have a bench. Um, when we realized who, you know, we were trying to figure out who owned this land, and we thought it would be almost impossible to have a bench here. And, and, and Anne Marie um, um, and Perry made it, made it happen here. So I thank you to, to you both. Oh, my final thank you is to Braveheart for helping to schedule all of these events this weekend. And then finally, I also wanted to um, announce that concurrent with this bench, we're also having an official Ryan Kaufman Memorial Fund uh, that'll be an invested fund for Alaska Community Foundation. And on the cards I passed out, there's information on how to, uh, to make a contribution to the fund. The purpose of the fund is to help support middle school students at Blatchley Middle School, where Ryan spent most of his professional life here. And as many of you know, Ryan was really magic with kids. And one of the things that he always looked out for were the kids that had potential, but maybe were struggling for some reason in their life, either at that moment or over a longer time period. And he had a way of seeking those kids out and sort of just quietly surprising them providing them with support. And so um, this fund has sort of been, it's been happening sort of under the radar for the past few years. Uh, I've worked with Ben White to, to find those students and to make a contribution to some scholastic or extracurricular activity that will help them thrive in school. But this is actually sort of what can be a perpetual longer fund um, that has been officially started. And so I wanted to, that's part of our gift back to the community as well. So. I think with that, um, we want to again finally, you know, offer these gifts back to the community for all of the um, 
love and time and everything you did to help honor Ryan during his life and also in his passing. So we thank you. Are we ready? Okay. Drum roll.